Welcome to Automation Training Up. Today's video, we are going to learn how to create a new project in CX Programmer software. So first, we'll open the software. For that, start in the search, I'll type the software name. CX Programmer. So once the software is open, just like any other software, go to File, New. First, it's asking device name. Device name is nothing but a name for your project. So I'm just giving it as test device type. So it, it's asking us to select the controller model. So this uh, CX programmer version 9.7 support this much controller models. So right now I'm choosing CP1E. So once you choose the model in the settings, you can see it's asking to select the CPU type. In the CPU type, you can see we have two type of series, E and N. E is basic and N means advanced. So in basic, you will have only one communication port will be given. In N, you will have two communication port and that number denotes number of IOs in that controller. So right now I'm just choosing it as N40. That means uh, we have two communication port so one I can use it for to communicate with the system. Another port I can use it to communicate with third party devices. Maybe a printer or HMI. Even you can use it to communicate with SCADA. So now I'll just give OK. And you can see network type. So it's asking the communication protocol is USB. So when you choose different controller, according to that, the network type also will change. So now I'll just give OK. So right now our project has been created. So in this, you can see it's showing program name is new program one, section name is section one. So section one, that is your programming name. So if you want, you can rename also. So I'm just giving it as main. So this page act as a main page. So now the basic symbols has been given in the top. You can see invo contact NC, parallel invo parallel NC, vertical line, horizontal line, coil. So first we want to develop a basic program which we have seen in a previous session just i'm going to create one input and output and we'll see how to test it so i need an envo contact so i'll place it in here so first it's asking address so in already i have told you each plc will have its own addressing for input and output for home round PLC, the input address is 0, 0.00. So 0, 0.00, that means 0th channel in that 0th bit. So in home round PLC, each channel will have 12 bits. That means the address starts from 0.00 to 0.11. So totally 12 bits. And the channel number is zero. So I'll just give enter. Okay. You can see when you give the address, when you enter, it will ask a comment. If you want, you can give the comment as SW switch. And then you can see in here, this is a rank zero. And you can see in here a vertical black line. That is the end of, uh, not end, it is for right rail. 
so end of each ranga so right now already we know so right and uh, right end of the rail we have to connect the coil so in the program either i can place uh, horizontal line at the end i can place the coil otherwise simply you can uh, place a coil in here so for output the address is 100.0 so the channel number starts from 100 for output so when you given 100.0 automatically you can see that uh, address changes to 100.00 and it's asking comment so i'll just give the comment as motor so in output the channel number starts from 100 and in each channel how many bits we have now 8 bits so 0 to 7 so it is different from input so in input each channel will have 12 bits but in output each channel will have 8 bits so if you have doubt in that how many bits now even you can check in the home run controller model itself in the controller hardware itself they are given the channel numbers so once the program is done you can see still uh, the cursor is showing coil so in your keyboard just press escape and then to check this uh, program what you do is go to simulation work online simulator and then so right now we have to trigger the input you can see it is a envo contact so you can see a green color the indication so the supply is uh, folded in here since the contact is open so when you double click it will ask a value so initially it is open so the state is zero right now i'm giving it as one so the contact get closed it will uh, allow the supply to pass to the coil so your coil will energize so right now the coil energized that means the state changes to one from zero it changed to one that status where it will be stored now in the address so in plc the address is very important right now if you want to edit your program again go to simulation work online simulator you can do the changes for example, right now, we have AND gate. So in AND gate, you know, we have two inputs and output. So the condition is when two inputs are activated, only then output should on. So when two inputs activate means what? The two switches are connected in series. When both switches are get close, then only motor will on. So in the program already we have added one uh, switch so right now i'll just edit the name into switch one and i'll add another one input so already the input address 0 0.00, 0 bit has been used so 0 0.01 i'll give the comment as switch to so right now what happens now when both switches activate then only motor will on so right now switch one is on and when switch two is on then only motor energize similarly if i say if either one input is activate or if uh, both activate then only output should on that is R gate in R gate condition you can see any one input activate output should on or if both input activate also output should on so when the condition is any one that itself you can understand that both switches should connect in parallel so that if any one input activate now it allow the motor to on so right now I'm just deleting this one parallel. So 
I'll select a parallel invoke contact, place it in here. You can give points one. That is 0 0.1. Automatically, the address changes to 0 0.01. So right now, any one input activate, your motor will on. So same way you tried for NAND, NOG, XOR, XNOG, so that you will familiar how to use the software, how to select the contact, invo and NC contact. So further tough questions, tough program, we'll try to solve in the next class. Thank you.